In the previous video, we looked at hydrostatic pressure and how we can solve for it. Now, we will take a look at a couple of examples. In this first example, we need to find the pressure at the bottom of an oil-filled drum that is 4 feet tall. Remember, pressure is equal to the depth multiplied by the weight density. In this problem, the depth of the fluid will be the entire depth of the barrel, since we want to find the pressure at the bottom of the barrel. So our depth is 4 feet, and the weight density will need to be found from the table that we looked at in the last lecture. We will need to find the weight density in English units, since we have the depth of 4 feet. So looking at the table, the weight density of oil is 54.2 pounds per cubic foot. Then when we multiply, we have a pressure of 216.8 pounds per square foot. However, we, we are used to seeing pressure in pounds per square inch, not pounds per square foot, so we are going to convert this into pounds per square inch using the unit conversion process. Since we have square feet on the bottom, we will put one square foot on the top in the conversion factor. And we can look at the table I gave you at the beginning of the semester to find a conversion between square inches and square feet. There are 144 square inches and one square foot, so we have 144 square inches in the bottom. Crossing off the square feet and dividing, we see that the pressure is about one and a half pounds per square inch. Let's look at one more example. Now what we want to find the pressure at the bottom of a saltwater bay that is 25 meters deep. Again, we want to find pressure, which is equal to the depth multiplied by the weight density. The depth is now 25 meters because we are trying to find the pressure at the bottom of the bay. The weight density we will need to find from the table again. But this time we need to use the metric weight density for salt water, which is 10,045 newtons per cubic meter. When we multiply, we end up with 251,125 pascals. A lot of times, if our metric unit is above 1,000, we change the prefix. 251,125 pascals is the same thing as roughly 251 kilopascals, or kPa. In the next video, we will look at Archimedes' principle.